Hey folks, Craig here, and today I'm going to be showing you around my game room. I do uh, one of these videos every year to show you how the room has changed. I'll put links to all the past videos in the video description if you want to uh, take a peek at those and see uh, how the room has changed over the years. Um, let's give it just a quick shot around the room. Do, 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 do. I guess we'll just start over here. This is a <laughs> this is a Yoshi backpack, which kind of looks like just Yoshi's carcass hanging on the back of the door, and then um, this Mario pin set I got from Club Nintendo, and we have uh, this shelf here, which is mostly modern games, and up top we have some big uh, box sets. I'm sure, you can make those out for yourself. Uh, on the top shelf, uh, these are oversized boxes and cases mostly because this this particular row here is slightly taller than most other shelves, so they fit in there. So we got in television, uh, Sega CD, uh, Saturn, and uh, a few of these tall PS1 boxes, and these Japanese Dreamcast games because that's where they fit. And there's nothing interesting there. It's all just uh, El Dorado Gates and then uh, Lack of Love. And um, my my lone CDI game, Faces of Evil. And we have 360 games. I have a lot of those, over a hundred, because um, the 360 is my preferred uh, system this this generation. And below that, I have Wii games. I'm about I don't know, I think like 70 or 80 of those. About 80 Wii games. There's actually a lot to play on it. I mean, it's not it's not a home to like. Triple A blockbusters, but it has a lot of fun like niche games, uh, which is why I like it. And then down here we have uh, PS3 games, which you know, although you know, although I prefer the 360, I still have like something like 50 PS3 games, 40, 50, something like that. Obviously, it's not all of them. There's some special editions and stuff, but I'll get to those later. And then down here we have some strategy guides, which I mean, I still buy because they're they're collectible, but you know, obviously the internet has made them kind of useless. Uh, that bag is just full of uh, stuff from my last trip to Tokyo. And this here, uh, Silver Mongoose videos here on YouTube uh, gave this to me. Um, this is uh, just a printout of a mock insert for a Master System game for, uh, well, for Retro City Rampage, the upcoming downloadable game. And uh, it was signed by the game's creator. So this was a, a really cool gift. So I have to get a Master System cartridge for that to go controller there and um, I actually like this new light I have here it has all these little shelves I can put all these stupid little toys on it it's kind of fun and um, for those of you that have followed along throughout the years like, I actually do have a chair in here now it's nothing spectacular it's really lightweight and it's easy to move around which is uh, pretty important uh, for a room this small I gotta be able to move the chair around and, like this is this is awesome this shell I have here I love it. <laughs> and then uh, this table over here has my IK to my Vectrex and Finn Gamer's Virtual Boy adapter, which I have to send to him eventually. I still have it, dude. <laughs> um, and then over here, this is this is this is all like older older games, and it's overflowing. As you can see, like the Game Boy game boxes go to the ceiling, <laughs> and it's uh, flanked. We got some other systems here too. We got uh, Wonder Swan, uh, Neo Geo Pocket uh, Pocket Color. And uh, some Japanese Game Boy games there. They have all kinds of different box sizes there. U.S. stuff. Lynx, N-Gage, Game Gear, Gamecom, uh, Pokemon Mini. Let's come over here. We got. There's a Japanese Game Gear right here. And then this metal tin is a Japanese Game Boy game. It's Bomberman. It's really cool. Tin there. Uh, PS1 games. And then Japanese Saturn games. And then a whole lot of <laughs> a whole lot of PS2. Uh, I was never too enthused with the PS2 as a piece of hardware. Like I'm on my third one. They're just not they're not sturdy systems. Uh, but as far as the library goes, one of the best libraries of all time, if not the best. Uh, just I have a ton. Of, I have like a, over a hundred PS2 games. It's an awesome, awesome library. And then some Xbox games here. And then GameCube starts there and comes down to there. And then down here, my my two lone. Uh, Famicom games are just um, Mega Ten games. 
uh, Megami Tensei 1 and 2, and then some boxed NES, boxed Super Famicom, boxed Super Nintendo, boxed Nintendo 64. And these are generally in alphabetical order. This Pokemon Stadium is out of order because of this split right here. This giant box doesn't fit. It's a pain in the ass sometimes. Uh, Master System, Genesis, uh, 32X, Atari, Samsung new one on the end there, uh, Fairchild Channel F, and um, Odyssey 2 with some of these uh, boxed uh, sets, these board game kind of things. I went with the Odyssey 2, which is kind of a neat concept. We're gonna come up here, and right here, uh, this is these are plushes, which is <laughs> just kind of piled up over time here. Uh, a lot of Nintendo-related ones. We got Link, Mario, uh, all these Pokemon's I actually got from the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. We got some starters here in this Halloween Pikachu, this Goomba, Chocobo, Moogle, uh, Chibi Taras, Fling Smash, Ratchet, Pac-Man, all up there. He's all happy about staying on top of everyone else. <clears throat> And uh, some video game soundtracks here. And then these shelves here. See if I can pull out a little bit so you can get a better sense of these shelves from far away. But got some PC games up here. And the Stay of Marshmallow Man because I love Ghostbusters. Look, all kinds of Ghostbusters stuff all over this room. Some more PC games and some bits and bobs up there. But um, here is my uh, b the majority of my DS collection, which is at over 200 games now. So uh, there's a lot of those. And my little tiny cartridge logo there. It's a cool website. Check out tinycartridge.com. I love it. And then uh, 3DS. And you know the, the 3DS, like the Wii, and even like the the PSP, as you can see down here. It's just one of those systems where people are like, ah, oh, there's no games on it. But I tend to have a lot of games for the systems that people say have no games for them. So I don't. I guess I don't agree with that. I got some Vita over there. Mega Man Energy Tank mug I got in Tokyo. And then, just some systems, some boxes here. And then, we have this wall over here, which is mostly consoles, and some loose stuff, some special editions. Uh, we have some still packaged e-reader cards. And uh, some things, I got these in Japan, this is, um, the focus is not going to work very well because the lighting is not awesome in here, so I apologize for any of that. Uh, this I got the Pokemon Center, these... Uh, I don't know, pixelated pins in this keychain here. And then up here, uh, this Zazz lanyard, which is done in this Cupid doll Kingdom Hearts style. I thought that was cool. You can even see the little chocobo on his head. So I thought that was, that was super expensive, too. It was like over $20. <laughs> um, this here is mostly handhelds. As you can see here, I love handhelds. So I have, I mean, there's just a little bit of everything here. I got, Virtual Boy's not really a handheld, I guess, but... This micro and uh, original Game Boy and a pocket with a camera and there's a gold camera and a couple of SPs. In here is just a ton of loose Game Boy games and then in here loose games for other handhelds. Um, a few handhelds there, I'm sure you can make those out. Some box stuff and uh, some LCD games. And then just all kinds of stuff down here. Really, mostly accessories and things like that. And then there's like manuals in these boxes here. I'll come back up here. Uh, I won this in Tokyo. Uh, it's Sega's Joypolis, uh, like amusement park arcade thing. It commemorates Sonic's 20th anniversary. I'm sure those aren't very common, but that was pretty cool to win. I got a Dig. It's a leapfrog system. I thought it'd be cool to have like a learning system to add to the collection. It was like fifteen dollars. I've never even opened it. <laughs> um, on live, and then here are just systems that I don't really play all that much. Uh, they're not hooked up. ColecoVision, Jaguar, uh, Master System, Nuon, fifty-two hundred, uh, Channel F. Uh, Super Famicom, although I do use the Super Famicom to play Japanese games, so I will drag that out every now and then. There's a Famicom there, which is a bastard to get working. Um, and this really cool, like, uh, like tabletop arcade, like Galaxy 2. I think it's really awesome. Over here. Uh, Xbox, GameCube, those are hooked up. Uh, my Ballad of the Space Babies vinyl. All kinds of cables and controllers in there. A couple of Slimers. And a CRT! Every single time I do one of these videos, I got some smart ass that goes, What's to do with that TV? 
And as you can see here, dude, there's no, like, Xbox 360 hooked up to this. You don't... Like, you, you play older systems on a CRT. That's the way it's supposed to work. I have a 15-inch plasma in my living room, and that's where my modern systems are. So, uh, that's the deal with the TV. Um, there's an ICE Nintendo 64 there, Super Nintendo, Dreamcast, NES. Loose Super Nintendo, loose Nintendo 64. Loose NES with cases and cables and stuff in here. That stuff just piles up over time, man. Um... This, I don't know, this Pong clone, this Hockey Jokari thing, this Sin and Punishment stand I got from GameStop. Odyssey 2, Atari. Uh, a Sega monstrosity here, Sega CD, Genesis 32X. And then my PS2 just kind of huddled in the corner. Um, 3DO, uh, Saturn, some games there. 2600, some shot glasses and plug and plays and things like that. And then down here I have my. TG-16 and my Neo Geo. And the uh, Skull Kid statue and the Splatterhouse statue. And then some giant, <laughs> giant box sets here. We got uh, Halo Reach, Gears 3, Killzone 3. And then in this bin down here is, um, those are just all like random pre-order bonuses and other collectibles. I mean, it's just full, absolutely full of stuff. I can't even fit anything in there anymore, but, um... There's some really cool stuff in there, there's just no place to keep it out. So I want to keep it somewhere, but I can't have it out. And, uh, finally, to, to just round everything out here, uh, these are some collector's editions and box sets that don't fit on other shelves. Uh, this is my Dreamcast. Uh, the top up here is just Dreamcast stuff. Sega Gaga, Della Jet Set Radio, uh, Sonic uh, Adventure 2, the 10th anniversary for that. Uh, Eternal Arcadia. Uncharted 3, Wappy Dog, it's all kinds of stuff here. And then, on down here we got Diablo 3, but behind it we have Shin Megami Tensei 9. So, so yeah, that's just a, it's a brief rundown of the game room. I'll give you another sweep through here. Sorry for, like, the lighting. I actually kind of like the low lighting in here. It's cozy, it's comfortable, but... Uh, not, not so hot for videos, so, um, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, you guys take it easy.